He doesn't even know we're coming yet. Oh, not at all. He's still sleeping. This my mid-morning nap, Mom. The goats don't even know you're outside yet. That's adorable. Ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Got your bottles. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to KNS Get Out. We're trying to sneak down to the pen. And it rained last night, so it's beautiful out. We have a nice breeze. It's it's, it's going to be hot. hot. It's going to be. I know, but and it it's going to be humid. Yet. Is he waking up? The guard dog is awake. He's still got sleep face on. But let's get down there because, guys, we got some baby goats to go check out. Yep. Two goatlets specifically. And they're adorable. Yeah. Oh, he sees us. Oh, wakey, wakey. Hi, buddy. <laughs> he looks around. He's like, the goats don't even know you're here yet. You're the only one oh, that knows. Oh, look at that sleepy face. Got to get his Snoopy in his mouth. Can you see blue? Oh, she's peeking around, isn't she? Hi, Hi buddy. Boo. Hey, big guy. Look at those eyes. You are so tired, aren't you? You were napping pretty hard, weren't you, buddy? Where are you, you keeping them goats asleep. at? Oh, no. Oh, hi. Oh, no. Hey, now buddy. they know. Hey, now buddy. Now they know. Hi, Sprucer. Hi, were you in the hay? Look at you. Of course, Mom. That's where oh, I go. Hey. Can I have my bottle, please? Yes. Hi, big goats. Hi, everybody. Come on, Spruce. No, 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 safe. Good job, big guy. Good job. Guess what, guys? I know you're jealous about this, but we only have a few more days left of this little guy getting a bottle. Do you even notice that it's watered down, Spruce? You don't, do you? That's good. So dad came by, was it yesterday, day before? A few days ago. A couple days ago. <laughs> that red wasp, babe, he is hacked. There's, there's another one over there with you. Well, dad, Grandpa Adler Farms, he came by. We share a, a trailer. Technically, Chad, dad, and I do, but Chad has since bought a larger trailer, so it's pretty much just dad's and mine now. <laughs> uh, but when he came by, I think his ulterior motive was he wanted to come see the babies. Well, while he was here, we were talking about the spool and we were talking about wasps going in and out of it. And of course, he's like, you got wasp spray? Like, yeah. So you want me to take care of it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Problem is, we filled that thing up with wasp spray and then he stuffed red rags in there. That was all I had. And Mr. Hercules thinks they're toys. So when we come down, he picks up his Snoopy or the red rags, rips them out of that hole. And I think the wasps are onto us because they are active this yeah, morning. Yeah, they are. Buddy, why are you? Do I smell too clean for you? <laughs> That'll change. He's like, yeah, I got to put my scent on you, Dad. Oh, I know. He already has. So as you guys know, we just had two goatlets. I know that's not technically what they're called, but I think it's a lot more fun than kids. And they are in there with blue. And so we've talked with you guys since the beginning of our time out here. Anytime you make changes, anytime you bring another goat or you have little goatlets, the dynamic changes. And so Shannon and I, the last couple days, have really been thinking through and planning how do we make this situation a little better. And for right now, I think we've got a pretty good setup. So we're going to go through that today and we're going to talk about some of the changes that we're going to be making to the pin to better accommodate these goatlets. Yes. Right, big guy? Have we given you your praises for doing a great job last night enough? Can we, can we tend to the goats now? That's my good boy. It's my good boy. Mario hey. says, tend to the goats, man. Check this out. Spruce Somebody showing you where the food right is. right where all the food is. Are you trying to tell me to come feed you? Is that, hey, this is not your bottle. This is for blue. This is electrolytes. Okay, I will feed you first, little guy. You're already digesting. I'll give you a little bit of extra this and cool. give you a little bit of this too. Okay, come on, Sprucers. Hey, hey. Sprucers, come on. Get your head out of there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey. Come on, buddy. Come on. Hey, come on. Hey. Spruce, come on. <laughs> Thank you. It's That's right here, boy. Mom. Mom, Mom, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Oh, watch this, Mario. Mario, you watching? 
Mario, you watching this? Yum, yum, delicious. You made him <laughs> jealous. Good job. I'm spoiled. You're not. Oh, Mario gets so amped up. So if you remember, we were putting Mario in this pen to isolate him and feed him separate because he's just an aggressive eater. When there's food involved, it's his rules. Well, obviously we're not letting him in there. So Blue has had that with the goatlets to herself since they joined the farm. But what we're doing is we're putting Mario down here in Goatville. In fact, that's where we had to isolate him the day that I had to fix the latch for the third time because he kept breaking in. So Shannon's getting his food and when I have food in hand, I shouldn't have any problem getting him down in here to Goatville because he is hungry. We're coming, Blue. Oh, we need to talk about this relationship too. It is tough, but it's all part of it. We gotta learn together, don't we, Herc? Don't we, big guy? It's my good boy. I just need Mario's food first, please. <laughs> Look at these guys. Mario? Mario, this is yours, brother. Come on, big guy. There's a boy. No, honey, this way. Hang on, guys. Yours is coming. Oh, buddy, there's a little bit of water in there. We got some rain, didn't we? Okay. Mario's good. You may now enter with everybody else's. Hi, guys. But you gotta let me walk. Come on. So then, of course, Hi, Herc. we feed Luigi and Mama. They do much better at getting along, and Herc doesn't chase them while they're eating like he did this one. Hi, buddy. Hi. I haven't got to say hi to you yet, have I? Yeah, hi. I know that's your scoop, but I put Blue's food in there, and I'll get your food here in just a minute, okay? I promise. I won't forget you. Yours is coming, honey. Yours is coming, baby girl. I'm coming, Blue. Yeah, I know it. So if you guys have been with us a while, you know that Hercules and Blue have not fully built the, the relationship to trust and... Bud, you're gonna stay back with me, okay? You can't go in there right now, okay? I got him. So our assumption is that Blue has not been around a livestock guardian dog. She is not used to it and has never warmed up to him fully. And all he wants is like what he does with Mama, he wants to be able to walk up, just give him a little touch, maybe maybe put his mouth on him, like not in a threatening way whatsoever, but just like a kiss. It's really weird. And then he doesn't want him to react. If they don't react, they hold still, everything's fine, he moves on. Blue has never let him do that successfully. She always reacts, she always runs, and he always chases her. And we're still dealing with that now, aren't we? Just a little bit. He just really wants to come in and protect and see those babies and put a scent in here. Yeah. Well, and his thing, just like with Spruce, when Spruce was a littler guy, yeah, he would lick Spruce soaking wet. And I think it was just to put his scent on him. And that way, if anything else heard him or knew there was a little guy in here, his smell would deter any predators. She wants nothing to do with that. She still actively licks the kids and puts her own scent on them and makes sure that they don't smell like us or Hercules. And, you know, I get that, but the predators don't. Oh, who do we have here? Look at this little guy. Herc says, I want to look at the little guy. I know you do. See him? You see him? Yeah, I know. I know. I just want to lick him. He's so stinking cute. He's so tiny. Oopsie. Oops, I think that just fell on brother over there. It's okay, huh? This one is so cuddly. Aren't you? So do you know their genders yet? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to tell them? We have to tell them. Okay. Look at these rascals. They're like, we're done eating, time to fight, let's play. This is normal goat play. What Mario does to them whenever he's in there, a little aggressive. So that's why they get their own time to get them, mama. You tell them who's boss. Doing all right, buddy? Yeah, 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 still got food left, I'm fine. <laughs> you smell them? 
About the only time this can fly is when Blue's over there distracted with her food. She is getting quite the increased amount of food compared to normal because she is nursing. And we've actually even noticed whenever we feed her, those are electrolytes. What looks like muddy, dirty water is not. Those are electrolytes, so that gives her a little extra energy. And then we got regular water in here in case she's just thirsty. But we've increased her food intake. She's not able to go out and graze right now because we keep her in her full time with the goatlets. And so we make sure that she's getting her calories and she might even get some special, uh, special food and nutrients textured. every so It's often. called textured food, but it's basically with molasses and corn and the sweet stuff that they really like. <laughs> All right, babe, well, while you're holding that one, what do we have? Is that a boy or it's a girl? It's a boy! It's a little boy. And he's so sweet. That's exactly what we needed, was more males. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but he's so sweet and cuddly. Now, before you guys ask, because I know a lot of you are gonna ask, we have no idea. The plans for these goats, uh, I'll go ahead and tell you. The black and white one in there, also a male so blue through a set of twins both boys but we don't know the plan yet we have no idea as far as is everybody staying are we banding these two we've got plenty of time to figure that out this is where we fall back to our one day at a time mentality right now our main focus is just keeping these guys healthy keeping them safe and kind of accommodating to the new dynamic and making sure everybody's happy he's like i'm not happy i want to go in there he does want to go in there she's getting some of those electrolytes in oh she heard him cry i got him right here blue hey what do you think about me having your little baby huh is this okay you're such a good mama you're such a good mama yeah Thank you for letting me hold your baby. Yeah. Thank you for letting me hold your baby. She's so sweet. All right, little guy, can I go get your brother? She's doing great with us, but she's always looking over her shoulder at that guy right there. So we got to work on that. But right now we can keep him separate and he has spread his treasure mounds that smells like him. We put all of their straw and hay that when we clean that out over there and it has a lot of her scent in it. So we feel very safe with her over here even though he can't get to them. We feel really good about this. It's just me, baby, you're fine. I'm gonna grab your other one, okay? I just wanna hold him for just a little bit, okay? You just go to the bathroom nonstop. That's what I think. I think she's one of her, you know what it is, it's she's getting fed so much more right now. Oh yeah. You saying good morning to your little brother? Yeah. Look over your right shoulder. Hi lady. You being nice to my kids I'm there? I'm being nice, I promise. What's this thing you're pointing at them? Can I, it's just a camera. Mm. Can I grab your little black and white one? Can I get your other little one? Thank you. Mm-hmm. So what we are used to is Hercules basically doing all of the cleanup. I mean, if Spruce ever went to the bathroom and got some on himself or it was still kind of hanging, yeah, Herc did all that dirty work for us. She's doing 100% of it for these two. She so. is. It is a completely different process raising goats that their mama wants to be a mama versus the bottle babies. And just like how this one's nursing now, we're, we're watching to make sure that they're getting fed plenty. Can I hold you, little guy? You want me to hold him? Oh, you want to hold him? Yes, I do. Hi, buddy. Buddy. It's okay. That's not her. 
<laughs> oh, that's not her? That's the little brown one sneezing. Oh, okay. Poor Hercules. I know. So I, I just want to come and lick it. I do feel really bad for Herc. He wants to be a guard dog so bad. Don't worry, guys. This is, uh, what's today, Wednesday? Today's Wednesday? Today's Wednesday, and these guys were just born Saturday afternoon. Yeah. So, so. we've already had him in here. We're going to continue working on that. Um, I know there's going to be a lot of opinions and a lot of advice, and we do appreciate that, but you just got to test your own animals. You got yeah. to test the dynamic, see how they're doing. And just like we've made accommodations, our best goat just gets to wander freely. Photo bomb. Don't forget about spruce, everybody. That's me. Can't I'm forget spruce. about spruce. No way. He still makes his own rules. But he just wanders out there and grazes. Mario's down there in Goatville. We still got him locked out, and he does the same. He just goes around and grazes and waits for us to come let him back in. Hey, Mario. This little guy's totally resting his head on my arm. Yeah, that guy, he's kind of a cuddler. He doesn't hold his head up as much as his little brother does. So guys, Shannon and I have not done this before. I think if you saw our last video, it was very apparent. And if you haven't seen our last video, we literally caught the majority of the birth on camera. Yeah. So be sure to go check that out. You see, uh, you see some very raw, real personalities <laughs> from us. But we did do some research and even La Mancha goat kids are supposed to weigh between like five and eight pounds per goat kid. These guys didn't weigh five pounds together when they were first born. And that is a, an indication of, of premature goats. And I think we mentioned, or I mentioned, somebody mentioned that, you know, Blue, the stresses from the auction, leaving her old farm, getting used to having a, a guard dog, and all of that, I, I imagine some of that kind of caused her to go into labor prematurely. And we were very nervous because everything you look up about premature goats, uh, they all start out with the disclaimer of like, hey, you know, loss on a farm is real and it's hard. And in most cases, premature goats don't have much of a chance. But I attribute that 100% to Blue's mom abilities. Yep. She has been a rock star. And so that is why we're not forcing Herc on her yet. You know, we want her diet to get back to normal. We want her nether regions to look back to normal. And we just kind of need to see some progression from her before we introduce any other stresses. In fact, holding the goat kids is about the only thing we do, but obviously she knows she can come over and sniff and lick and inspect all she wants. Ain't that right, pretty lady? And when, when she starts to act like it's stressing her out that we're holding the babies, we put them back. We oh, don't absolutely. force it more than what she's comfortable with. Yeah, she's a snorter and a stomper. Yep. She'll start kind of grunt snorting at you, and if you see that, that hoof stomp, that's like, that's her warning. It's kind of her warning, like, hey, I'm getting ready to maybe headbutt you. And she never does us, but that is what she does right before Herc gets the smackdown. <laughs> I love this little guy. So both of them do have, I believe, browns actually stick out a little more, but both of them do have the same elf ears mm -hmm. like she's got. That is not something the last farmer did. That is totally genetic and unique to La Mancha goats. Yep. Uh, both of them, even though that one's a light brown, he's La Mancha through and through. So oh, both yeah. of these are La Manchas. My assumption is that she was bred to a La Mancha, uh, which are great milking goats. So we kind of had the guess that maybe she came from a farm where she was milked. Both of the babies also have blue eyes. So that's super fun that they have that. This one is going to be a baby blue. Oh, for sure. And it's bittersweet because obviously we struggle and we've continually been working on her relationship with Hercules. So we've got to be strategic with, basically I don't want to build a three party group of goats that don't like our LGD. I right. Don't, I don't want to have to accommodate to goats that can't be around him uh, because he does such an important job out here and he does an amazing job at it. But I know you're just stubborn. If any of them peep, they make their little peep noise. She She's comes on and it. checks on them. You're doing so good, Herc. You'll get to meet them and be acquainted with them soon. We just got to give her time. Yeah. We've told you they're both males, but I, a little... 
I just got to be honest with the the premature births. You know, Shannon and I had to be open minded to things being out of our control. And so we've not solidified on names yet. So you don't get names today because they don't have names yet. You know, that, I, without going into great detail, I mean, imagine if you name them, you start falling in love, which we've already fallen in love, but you name them, you, you know, and then something happens. There's still time. It just causes more heartbreak. Exactly. So we're letting Blue do what she needs to do. They are growing, they are gaining weight. They're definitely getting better at walking around, standing mm -hmm. up but she's feeding them i mean she will wake them up we've got her on camera she'll wake them up in the middle of the night give them a little lick <laughs> did your jaw just pop sweet lady I know, you're man. so tired aren't you you want to come see your other little guy she's staying up all night she's guarding them she's feeding them she's being such a good mama yeah but they are both uh they're going to the bathroom and compared to what we saw from spruce, it's very similar. You know, it's that light brown consistency. I didn't think I'd ever talk to people about goat poo on YouTube videos. Are you kidding? It's so weird. I feel like we talk about poo all the time on our channel. No, I just mean in general. I, I know we do, <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, it's like a light brown, and it's like, it's like little pellets that are kind of together, but not, it just kind of comes out. You know, but our only comparison, our only experience is what we went through with Spruce. We got him when he was about 12 hours old. Yep. So we're learning. Uh, they're definitely smaller than Spruce was, but as we know, Spruce's dad is Bruce, and they got some boar in him, and so I think Spruce is going to be a pretty good-sized goat. Yeah. If he doesn't run off. He never stops eating. No. Blue, want me to put your baby back in there with you? Yeah? Looky here. Yeah. There you go. He's like, wait, 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 I wasn't standing. I'm going to grab the broom so we can get some of her poo out of okay. there. Okay, thank you. And come see your guard dog who's, who's pouty-faced over here. <laughs> That's a good boy. I know it. You just want to go in there and love on those babies, don't you? We're working on it, bub. You're such a good mama. Yeah. Hi, Mama. Thank you for being such a good mama. <laughs> I just love your giant face. It's so sweet. He wants to come in here so bad. Oh, I know. He's just trying to do everything he can and everything he knows he's supposed to, but... We gotta be a little protective for a bit. I'm gonna clean out in there, Blue. These little guys are so cute. I put the broom in there and they're just like both hiding off to the side. Oh, just but like, like Blue. watching like, what is yeah. that thing? Well, I've crawled in there with them when I was cleaning it up and kind of moving some of the straw. Yeah. And they are just like their mama. They're just kind of paranoid, yep. a little skittish. And I'm like, guys, I'm you're fine. I'm gonna take care of you. They just don't know yet. So we got mini blues on our hands. Yep. I'm just to... hopeful that we can get them acclimated with Hercules better. I'm sure we'll be able to. It's just going to take time. We just have to be patient. Yeah. I do need to get her more hay. Okay. And then more hay. What have you been doing out here, huh? What have you been doing out here? You still have food in your bowl. Yeah. Were you eating out here in the sweet bit, the sweet feed? Were you? Because I left the lid off. It's my fault, huh? It's my fault, huh? I'll check it out. Mom, yeah. let me in there. I'll check out her feeder. I mean, the babies. I'll do it. He does want to meet them. Mom, do you think anybody cares about my band? I do think people care about your band. Should we give a little update on your band? Yeah, we should probably tell them so they all feel sorry for them. Oh, you're going to show it? Oh, they're deflated. They they're, used to be bigger, world, I promise. They're a little deflated. Oh, it's sad. And Poor they're kind of crooked now. Yeah, we won't get a close-up of them, okay? Okay, it's embarrassing. <laughs> So these babies were born Saturday at like 2.30 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And of course, you saw the last video, you saw the panic that ensued, and we got them up here, I don't know, probably by about 7 o'clock at night. 
Sunday morning rolls around, we get up to go to church, and of course we gotta come down and take care of the animals first. And we had a panic, I mean a panic. We couldn't find the brown one. And before I changed that latch out, Mr. Mario and Mr. Hercules, well, specifically Mario, he broke in there, and of course this guy wants to go in there too. So we had big goat, big dog in the nursery. And Miss Blue was up here on the Herc hut. And this was probably at, I don't know, what, 6.30, 6.45 in the morning. We got down here by seven. Yeah. And so, you know, we didn't really know how long. We went back through our camera footage. We saw blah, blah, blah. Well, we cannot find the brown coat anywhere. You guys can only imagine the panic and the seriousness that ensued at that moment. That was the scariest moment I think that we've ever had on the farm, not being able to find a baby. Yeah, but Blue was up here. The little black and white baby was right here, curled up in that root and just sleeping. So Blue did seem under distress and I picked up the baby. Of course, she started kind of snorting. I let her sniff and lick and we got her and him back into the pen, but still had no idea where the brown one was. But Shannon and I, I mean, we're looking everywhere and we're walking out there outside the pen to see if it snuck through. The birds were super loud and watching us. The owls were very active the night before and we were new goat parents. So we were freaking out. Finally, I look over and I notice that Herc, who normally sits pretty calmly when we've got him on his leash and collar, but he's got his leash at full tension and he's sitting right here and his collar, I mean, he's just, it's just tight on him. Like he's leaning forward and there was a gap between the back of his neck and his collar. I was like, okay, well, I don't know what's going on. So I took him off, walked him around a bit, and this is probably 45 minutes into our search. And I said, buddy, I'm gonna take your leash and collar off you since Blue was in there, and you've got to help me find this brown baby. He walked straight over to the hay feeder, went right up to it, which is not normal, and started sniffing down on the left side. I pulled out that bottom pan, didn't see it. Shannon was outside of the pen at the time and she looked in from the backside and sure enough, I had to take that hay feeder up and the little brown one was hiding under there. And it was either Herc that hid him or pushed him over there to hide because Mario, he knows Mario could and would trample these little guys, whether intentional or not, I don't know. Uh, but she hid him and that's why the black and white one was over here with her where she could protect and the brown one was under that hay feeder. Oh man, that was a very long 45 minutes. We get everybody back in there, everything's good, everything's hunky-dory. I think we went up, washed our hands, cleaned up a little bit, and decided we'd do one more check on everybody. Came down, brown one's gone again. I kid you not. <laughs> it was the most embarrassing thing in the world. However, we did the walkabout on the outside of the pen again, made sure like, how, where is he going? Because this was, was totally fine. I had changed out the latch to something way more sturdy than that silly little hook thing and eyelet. And then I had put a bungee down around the middle so that they couldn't push through the bottom. But to cut that story short, he was underneath this. And I went into super dad strength mode and picked it up and Shannon was brave enough to trust me and got underneath it and reached in and got the little guy out. So yeah, just like that. <laughs> what feels like should be a normal day and everything's gonna be fine. Our entire morning was derailed and Shannon and I were just, beside ourselves, a little bit comical, but that was when we really thought, okay, let's, let's figure this plan out and make sure that the uh, nursery is fit for little premature teeny tiny goats. Think, Blue, did we do a pretty good job? Are you happy? I said good mama right there. Can you come in here and stand behind me? Herc. Not for the sake of Herc, but just to see what I have going on in here. These two. You got some attention. They have just been soaking up some attention this morning. Well, you know. Uh, oh, do you have to interrupt and and take their attention away? That's Mario's face he does when Spruce is in here and they're headbutting each other. He just barely peeks his eyes over the windowsill <laughs> and waits for him to come. I was loving on these two. Is that okay? No, I want the attention. Yeah, though. you needed all the attention, huh? Yeah, Mario here in the window. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Anytime Mario's being good and asking for attention, he really has that look in his face like, hey, 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 I'm being good. You gotta honor it. He is being good this morning. He is. Sure. I mean, he acts like 
a buck when it's time to eat. He absolutely does, we get that. But man, when he's just being normal and goaty, he's a good boy. He wants attention, he, he wants head wants scratches. Attention. He wants to play wrestle with me. He's got some very stinky breath, let me tell you. What's it smell like, man? A little gross? Hey. Yeah. Uh, green? Oh, I like that spot right there. That's my spot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, oh, behind the oh, ears, look, Dad. babe. There we go. Are they out here partying? They both are out here. Yeah, as I was talking about them earlier, they were both out. You're doing great, Blue. Yeah. So real quick, because of the accommodations and because we're having to utilize Goatville for Mario and his eating space, I don't like closing off Goatville. It's just meant to be for them to go out at any time and stretch out and eat or whatever. So we bought some stock panels, like cattle panels, cattle panels. with a little bit larger squares, and they come down to the smaller rectangles toward the bottom. And it's going to be an adults only section of the goat <laughs> pen. I, that sounds weird and whatever but it won't be for the babies because those babies especially, they could fit through it. In fact, we've been nervous about the four inch squares over there, but. But they don't have a reason to go out no. right now. It's not like they're trying to stick their heads through to get grass or anything like that. They have no reason to go through there. Yeah. So really they're okay right now. Oh yeah. And by the time they get that curiosity and the intelligence enough to know how to get through, they'll be too big. Yep. Spruce went through the very same thing. In fact, black and white's still trying to climb the ramp and just took a little spill. He says, I'm fine, I'm fine. So basically we got three more panels. Uh, it's been hard to find those wire filled gates like the two that we have on the front and back of Goatville. So we finally got our hands on some and we just went ahead and bought three. We wanna try to make it so we can get in and out of that pin without having to come through this pin. We may add another gate to that one because we're finding that obviously the more gates you have and not everybody is centralized to one gate keeps them from piling up and making it hard for you to get in. So we're gonna to try to expand this out to another basically 20 by 16 pin. And that will be again for, you know, if we need to get Mario and Luigi in there, if mama throws kids and we see how she does with blue, can they raise theirs together or is that a problem? We, we just gotta take this in stride and we're definitely gonna add this so that we can leave Goatville open. So we've got all the plans. We gotta, we gotta make the accommodations and just like when we brought Spruce, just like when we brought the girls, we're paying attention to the dynamics and the changes for all the animals and we'll do the best we can to make it successful with yeah. seven goats now. Which is a lot. It's a lot more than we anticipated. Yeah. But it's okay, it's going well and do you guys, have any idea that we have guineas and turkeys up there too? You guys remember <laughs> that? Like we were totally on that trajectory and then this happened and so I'm obviously we're still taking care of them and making sure everything's good but they're staying in the coop so probably in our next video we actually just received the two bird runs yesterday they're both up there still in the box I got to get the instructions out and you know do my early homework and then I'm gonna be putting those up because those birds are getting big and flighty and they're ready to have more room. Yep. So between that and building out the pen here, you know, we just got a little bit to do, no big deal. Just a little bit. But I think I've seen a lot of memes and things on farm life and country life, and that's just kind of how it goes, yeah. you know? You can dictate your own plans as much as you want, but these little rascals can uh, disrupt those plans like Very that. Very quickly. And it's okay, because I absolutely love the addition. Oh, me too. Additions. Um, no, you were supposed to stay up here with me while I laid here. Come on, big guy. You can do it. Poor little brown man. He's just a little bit smaller in black and white. I think Blue's telling him to come back in. Is that what that means? I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, my God. He cannot keep that front leg up there. Look how tiny they are. Oh, I know. So much smaller than Spruce was. I think, yeah, I'm gonna have to go back and watch. <laughs> it may just be their elf ears that make it look that way. There we go, yeah, learning your new tricks, aren't you, buddy? That little rascal loves to get under that goat house we built for them. How many times has he been under there now? Five? Five, probably. Four or five. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look how much bigger black and white is though. He's definitely fluffier too. Oh, for sure. They're like, what's this? This is new. If you feel something on your leg, we got another spectator. I did feel that. How about you? Yeah, we watching him play. Here, bud. Look at the babies. <laughs> oh, black and white. Started to lay down. I really feel like they're they're doing well. I do too. Like it's it's time to it's time to pick some names. This is adorable. I can't believe Blue's letting it happen. So for right now, this is the extent. Like we we don't force anything beyond this right here, and it's not until the little kids come over that Herc even gets to do this. So yeah, you're being so good, Herc. Can yes, I, you are. Can I just go in there and see him, Mom? No, not yet, honey. Please. I really like goatlets, you know. <laughs> you saw what I did with Spruce. He turned out great. That's true. I'm taking some credit for that. I saw your curious ears go up whenever you heard that little Herc. guy whimper. Herc, look, bud. Hey, go look at Daddy. Hey, Hercules, come here. come here. Look who it is. Look. Yeah, there's a little guy right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's so little. He's teeny tiny. Herc's going to sit in my lap and watch. <laughs> This is my lap guard dog. Oh, this little guy can I, can I, can I pet you? I, I just want to pet you. That's a good boy. He's like, hey, little guy, I don't think you're supposed to go there. <laughs> Black and white kept shooting around the corner. What'd I miss? What'd I miss? I know I missed something. Oh, no. We just talked about this. Okay. <laughs> Come here, little guy. Come here. Well, I just ate my words. He that was unexpected. It totally came right through. You're just a curious little thing, aren't you? He's okay, Blue. He's I got okay. him, Blue. It's okay. Hi, baby. You are the little escape artist. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Well, now I got to go get some uh, hardware cloth and line the bottom of this pen so that he doesn't escape. And especially go that way, where <laughs> you wouldn't last very long out there, would you, little guy? No way. Oh. Look at Herc's cute little face. Oh. I know your mama's right over here. I know. Blue says, I want him back. I know you do, baby girl. Looks like we know what the most pressing project is. Yeah, that just changed my day. No joke. Again. Yeah. And that is farm life. You say out loud that they're not going to come through this fence, and then boom, five minutes later, they're like, <laughs> I'll show you. I'll prove to you otherwise there, mister. Is everybody nursing? All right, I know. I'm not coming in there. Look here, Houdini. Ooh. 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 And the naming begins. You think she'll let me keep Houdini? It's the first one I said. I said it on camera, so if she puts this in the video, then that means he's gonna be Houdini. I mean, he is a little Houdini. Well, he has disappeared, what, eight times total now? Yeah, Lee, that little guy. 
Can we call him Houdini Blue? What do you think about that? Yeah, you're going to be Houdini. It's official. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> wow. She says, really? You just named one of my goatlets. I know, lady. It's a good girl. I know, pretty girl. It's a good mama. You're doing a great job, baby. Okay, so the wind died. The humidity <laughs> has come it's up. It's way hotter than when we started. <laughs> way warmer than when we started. Yeah. So. All right, guys. Well, we have plenty to do so we need to stop filming and get to it and we'll give you progress updates but be sure and come back for the next video if you're curious on the progress of the birds because i'm gonna have to make time for them as well and i do have those runs for them and i want to let you guys know what i think about those I'm looking forward to getting uh houdini yeah oh yeah yeah houdini all right so Sneak you got peek. the you already have one name you got the gender reveal and you got one name it's houdini all right, guys. Well, the goats are healthy, happy, alive. Everybody's good. And we're just going to keep doing better for them so that they can have the best lives possible. And we love and appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for coming on this journey with us and supporting us in this. And as always... We couldn't do this without you guys. Not at all. No way. We wouldn't do this without them. No, but we also couldn't. Oh, that too. We all need them stuff. to watch. All right, guys. As always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Oh, this <laughs> Herc man, is somebody borrowing your house, Bubba? <laughs> what a sight. Mama's in his house. Thank he you. makes a little spot outside it, and then there's the spoiled rotten one in the background outside the pen.